hello! It's Liz, the Wandering Husky Mom, and I'm back and I'm by myself. I just kind of wanted to get on here today, and um, it is Sunday. I have a post that I'm going to put on here after a little bit with the kids and I, and introducing you to my son, who is finally home. Um, but I kind of wanted to talk to everybody, and yes, my red is down. I'm actually wearing full makeup today at church today, and I'm very, very, very red today. So I am in pretty heavy, heavy foundation, so I'm on my way home today to, to get all this off. Um, but today in church, it was a fantastic service, and it's the whole reason that I go to this church, is because at the heart of the matter, we are all sinners. And it's not about what it's not about us. It's not about me. It's not about what I think. It's not about how I interpret the Bible. It's not how you interpret the Bible. It's not how any of that works. It's about loving one another enough to make sure that they know the Bible and they come to the Bible. Whether they agree with your interpretation, whether they have any of the same thoughts as you, and that's what makes a fantastic conversation is both of you being open enough and being thoughtful enough to realize that Jesus is about love. Jesus is about hope. Jesus is about being there for each other and not just surviving, but about as a community thriving. So it, this really strikes me as something of great importance. Um, I know I've talked about it before that I'm part of a couple of different boards here in our county and I'm hoping to expand that reach very quickly. Um, but the biggest thing for me is, you know, I was at the hotel today checking in, making sure everything was running good. I finally get two days off because we're not on the weekend anymore. Um, but I was talking to somebody and this gentleman actually lives about two hours away and he comes over here to stay at the hotel because he loves the way my staff treat them. And he loves the way how I treat them. And so it's really funny to me because literally he's two hours away, but he's here. And that's okay. I will take that any day of the year. I have people that come up from an hour and a half away and they would rather stay here. And that's what I want. And that's what as a community, we want. I am in an area that is, people are fleeing the area because there's not good jobs. And I want to implore those people who can give good jobs and that can go after small businesses and shop and be part of that small network to do that because you employ people like myself who rely on that small business and who who want to bring more to the community. Um, the biggest thing that we struggle with in Manistee County is it's not actually jobs, it's livelihood, i.e. housing um, that is not outrageously priced. And it's not just Manistee County, let me be correct, anywhere in Northern Michigan is really kind of complicated. Gaylord, Traverse City, Kalkaska, Benzonia, um, Manistee, Ludington, we all have infrastructures. Um, the gentleman there today that I was talking to, he was utterly amazed that we not only had these big ships come in, but that these big ships came in to do deliveries for very active warehousing and manufacturing. And actually, just as an example, I have three people that are staying long-term in my hotel. They're paying weekly rates because they can could not find somewhere to live but for a year they're on the board for a year and what's worse is is they can't stay with me for a year because we closed part of our hotel down and then during the summertime I'm booked with regulars they can't afford to live in a hotel like mine all the time and so I feel really bad so they have to stay with us short burst and or that or they have to drive three hours to work because there are no housing options. These are guys, these are engineers. These aren't, you know, 
factory workers making $15 an hour. These are factory workers making $30 an hour. $40 an hour. I know one of the guys was saying he makes like 39 something an hour. And he goes, you know, at this point, it's just as easy for me to drive. He goes, it's just exhausting. And so, sorry, I'm driving home right now and on my little soapbox. Um, so it's one of these things where the people who back small businesses, you're backing small businesses to give them a chance to do more, to hire more and to hopefully do more in that nature. Um, I, like I said, I manage a hotel and, um, I am slowly trying to switch more into property management. I... I'm very passionate about trying to find a housing option for our area. And the biggest thing that I've come to know is that you need backers, financial backers. And sadly, I lack that right now. So if you know anybody, I'm telling you what, you need to look at this area. It is in desperate need of somebody who wants to, to do not low income, but the middle class. And to, to be perfectly honest, in Manistee, the middle class is, you can buy a house there for 30 to 70,000 and you could easily rent it for seven to, to $1,100 a month. And there are people that can pay it. There are a lot of people that can pay it. The problem is, is those places go like that. And to get into that is just, it's very difficult. So that's my soapbox for today. Shop local, go local, go find these small hotels. And if they treat you like crap, let me know. Because I seriously, me personally, in my town, in my county, if something's wrong, I get right up in that person. Like I'm emailing the owners, I'm emailing the managers. I'm emailing, I'm calling, I'm going face to face and saying, you're not just hurting yourself. You're hurting me and you're hurting my business. And my business depends on my community. Not just me, not just my staff. It depends on everybody. Um, I'm gonna leave you with this. I wear shirts all the time from communities, uh, from, from different things that go in on my community. I know other people that do this. I know a number of businesses, downtown district, they wear their competition shirts. You know why? It has nothing to do with outselling the competition. If you cannot survive with somebody else in your same business, you shouldn't be in that business. It's about good competition and it brings the money. And I'll tell you what, I just had four people call me and say they wanted to stay extra days through this week because of my attitude and my want for my community. It has nothing to do with just the hotel. It's about the people. So if you don't think you can make a difference, if you don't think that you can do something, I dare you to try. I dare you to put a positive attitude forward and just love everybody. So that's me on my soapbox today. And again, my name is Liz. I'm the Wandering Husky Mom. Hit the like button. I really need those. Come on, people. And more, come check me out on Instagram. I'm always posting videos. We did have a bunch of big ships come through this week, and I kept posting videos posted one today of what I got to listen to all day, which was the water lapping up against the shore. It's wonderful, and it's something that I want to share. My community survives on people like me and you. Come see me. Thank you. Have a good day.